Hey you two, I'm back this time with my Bath & Body Works 550 Body Care Sale Day Haul. Originally I wasn't going to shop it because I just, I mean it's a good deal, but I didn't need any body care. However, when I saw that Midnight Pomegranate was out for the sale, I decided to go for it. So without further ado, let's jump right into what I picked up at the Body Care Sale Day. So, uh, like I said, I picked up Midnight Pomegranate. I have it in a fine fragrance mist. I picked up one, two, three, four, and also five. So I stocked up for a number of years. I use Midnight Pomegranate once a year in the fall. I love it. The keynotes are Ruby Red Pomegranate, Sparkling Cassis, White Jasmine, Blackberry Spice, and Patchouli. And I adore it. So good. So to me, it's autumnal. There's something, you know, it's like a heavy floral, dark spiced red berry. To me, that makes sense for the fall and I really love it. So it's never been marketed as such as a fall fragrance. Um, for the longest time, it was in the core collection of Bath & Body Works, but I absolutely adore it. I love it in the fall time. I think it's so autumnal and nice. I love it for October. I use it up every single October. So I'm really glad that Midnight Pomegranate, at least for a moment, has had a bit of a comeback at Bath & Body Works because um, otherwise I have to go on like eBay or Poshmark or whatever to repurchase and that gets kind of pricey. So picked up five and I'm loving to have these back. So um, the packaging is pretty cute. I wish that it were transparent, but I think that mostly for my project use it up, you know, sensibilities. But anyway, it's pretty cute and the packaging looks fairly reminiscent, fairly reminiscent of um, the last packaging that we had, which was transparent, but it was kind of like a deep red color and it had a large floral on it. So the floral on the other one, it almost looked a bit like a daisy kind of. It wasn't exactly this, but anyway, it just looks very reminiscent of it. It's the same fragrance, glad to have it back. So I definitely stocked up. In addition to the five fine fragrance bits, I also picked up two body creams. It looks like the formula has changed. It says it's the ultimate hydration body cream with hyaluronic acid. And on the back, it says that it's made with hyaluronic acid and shea moisture or shea butter, excuse me. So whatever. But again, cute packaging. I like the kind of transparent cap here. I think it's pretty well done. Also, I picked up three lotions in Midnight Pomegranate. So I picked up two creams just because I do prefer the creams um, in the fall time, but I also picked up three lotions because I know that I will go through this over the course of a number of years, and I just wanted something that would preserve a little bit better for that reason. So that's why I picked up the two creams and the three lotions. So again, it's the same fragrance, cute packaging here. I don't think that anything will ever beat my beloved, like sexy, metallic, Midnight Pomegranate packaging from about 10 years ago, but this is pretty cute. So I was a little bit disappointed to see that neither online nor in store did Bath & Body Works have the shower gel in Midnight Pomegranate. So I will be on the lookout for that during SAS. We'll see what happens, but I talked to a sales associate about it and she said that sometimes with these um, these collections that get dropped kind of quickly like this, um, sometimes they can have weird supply chain issues with like one type of product within the collection. So she said that maybe that's what happened, but I don't know. Anyway, long story short, again, I'll just be looking out for the shower gels at SAS. So we'll see what happens. So in addition to that, I also picked up just a couple other body care items. Like I said, I really am trying to keep my body care in check. It's just that I wanted to hoard my Midnight Pomegranate because I bought my last couple online for way too expensive. Um, so I also picked up another shower gel, this one in A Thousand Christmas Wishes. Unfortunately, this one does not have key notes on the back, which is kind of unusual, but to me it smells like a I mean, it smells reminiscent of A Thousand Wishes, which is why at first I didn't really give it the time of day, but then I just happened to be standing next to it and I smelled it, and I actually I really like it. So it smells like a kind of red berry, but to me it also smells like a tinge citrusy to it. It smells very bright. I don't wanna say effervescent per se, but it smells very bright and festive for the holidays. So again, I really don't get into A Thousand Wishes, 
but this one is pretty nice, so I'm glad to have that. But again, I don't need lotions. I don't need five fragrance, but it's not that I need a shower gel. But, you know, this is typically how I will kind of experiment and play with different fragrances. Also, the aromatherapy was on sale, so I picked up an aromatherapy shower gel in tea tree. It says <clears throat> that it is tea tree and lavender. And again, usually I don't give aromatherapy, you know, much thought usually but this is pretty nice so it just definitely does smell like tea tree i enjoy tea tree but i definitely understand why some people don't um it just smells very kind of earthy kind of spa like it reminds me a little bit of bath and body works's green tea scents i think that you know like i said kind of reminiscent of that i think that sometimes the white tea and other teas that bath and body works can do are kind of eh. i think they smell too like chemical and not good but yeah, the tea tree is nice. And again, I feel like anytime that Bath and Body Works does a green tea scent, it's pretty nice. And their green tea scents just kind of smell like this to me. So anyway. All right. And then the very last thing that I picked up was a scrub because it was also $5.50, which is a pretty solid deal. This is also from the Aromatherapy line. And this is the uh, Eucalyptus and Spearmint Stress Relief Sugar Scrub. So I asked the associate when I was there, hey, do you have any scrubs that are especially coarse? Um, so she just kind of directed me toward the sugar scrubs from aromatherapy. So I am down to maybe about two or three Bath and Body Works scrubs in my entire collection. So I decided to pick up another one while they were cheap. And again, generally speaking, I enjoyed the sugar scrubs from Bath and Body Works and especially from aromatherapy. So that is it for my body care sale haul. Um, 550 was a pretty solid deal. I didn't have any coupons with it, but honestly, I'm all right with that because I think that what I got for $75, which is what I paid actually after tax. But anyway, I think I got a pretty good deal that I'm pretty happy with my midnight pomegranate. And I'm happy with taking a chance on tea tree and a thousand Christmas wishes and all that good stuff. So like I said, I'll be on the lookout for a shower gel midnight pomegranate at, pomegranate at SAS. We'll see what happens. And I'll be back in a few days with some more empties videos, some reviews, Again, Bath & Body Works collection update, uh, candle collection update, all kinds of good stuff happening in the month of December. So definitely stay tuned. As always, please make sure that you like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Schoolhouse of Iron. I'll put that down below and I'll see you next time. Bye.